If you're reading this, we can only assume congratulations are in order, as you've made it one step closer to winning your league's fantasy football championship you should be lauded for your efforts, as it is not easy to run the gauntlet, but with the proper trades, waiver wire pickups, and starts at decisions, here you stand. It is now time to make your final roster adjustments of the fantasy season and gear up for one final battle in week 16. As we do every week, it's time to take a deep dive into which players you should consider picking up and which players you should consider leaving on the bench as we head into what we've all been waiting for. Go with what got you here and don't overthink it. Trust your research and trust your instincts. Let's have some fun to see our past advice, check out other editions of this article week 15 week 14 week 13 week 12 week 11 week 10 week 9 week 8. More dominate your league with Fantasy Alarms season-long tools Fantasy Football Stardom, Sitem Candidate Stock Up Juju Smith Truster, WR, Pitt. Antonio Brown has a partially torn calf muscle and isn't expected to play in Week 16. Juju is clearly Ben Roethlisberger's favorite receiver outside of Brown and is most similar in style of play. Smith Chester has been outstanding even while ceding targets to all of the other weapons in this offense, so taking away the biggest target should do wonders for the young receiver. With the matchup against a Texan squad that gives up a ridiculous amount of points week in and week out, Juju will look to put up huge numbers. If you have him or can manage to get him, start him and clear off a nice spot on your entertainment center for that fantasy football championship trophy. Jarek McKinnon, RB, Min. Latavius Murray is the guy getting the bulk of the carries in the Vikings offense, but McKinnon is still the most dangerous back they have. McKinnon is averaging 11.8 PPR points per game over his past four games and has been somewhat of a poor man's Alvin Kamara. In Week 15, McKinnon had seven receptions for 114 yards and now gets to face a Packers team this week that was just torched by a similar style back in Christian McCaffrey who had 136 yards on 18 touches only 12 carries. McKinnon also had one of his better games in Week 6 against this Packers team when he put up 99 yards on 20 touches while scoring twice, once on the ground and once through the air. Greg Olson, take Gar. He's back in Week 15 Cam Newton went to all reliable 12 times, leading all Panthers receivers on the day. Olson turned those targets into 9 receptions for 116 yards and a touchdown. After trading away Kelvin, Benjamin to the Bills, Newton has been eager to get his security blanket back from injury, and it appears the rust is gone. The Panthers now get to face the Buccaneers a short week for Tampa Bay and get to play the game at home. The Buccaneers have been solid as of late against tight ends outside of Week 13 when they gave up a 10-catch, 94-yard game to Lions tight end Eric Ebron, although Ebron is the only talented tight end they've faced over the past several weeks. Week 16 rankings quarterback running back wide receiver tight end DST kicker fantasy football stardom, sit-em candidates stock down Lamar Miller, RB, how? Houston is officially in shambles after losing 457 to the Jaguars, and Miller has been very bad. Over the past four weeks his yards per carry in those games have been 3.0, 3.7, 3.1 and 3.6, respectively. Week 15 was even worse for him, as Alfred Blue outreached him 12-11 in the blowout. Game flow has been a major issue for the Houston offense, as the defense allows whatever the opposing team wants to do and there's no quarterback to keep them in it. With that workload and a matchup against a tough Steelers team on the horizon, Miller simply cannot be started. Jamal Williams, RB, GB. So, I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is Aaron Rodgers is back the bad news is it's going to ruin any hope that Williams can help his fantasy owners in the playoffs. In Week 15, Williams had only 10 carries for 30 yards and not a single target in the passing game. The Packers came out and immediately let Rodgers loose, throwing 45 passes and also running the ball 6 times for 43 yards. Next week they welcome the Vikings to town, so regardless of whether Rodgers plays, Williams will have a tough time, especially with Aaron Jones claiming a larger share of the workload. Derek Carr QB, Oak. Remember when the Raiders and Carr were a thing? Good times, good times. The Raiders are now 68 and have the Eagles and Chargers defenses to finish out the 2017 season, both in the top 10 and fewest fantasy points given up to quarterbacks in ESPN standard leagues. Carr hasn't thrown more than one touchdown on the road in any game since week one against the Titans, and with two road games coming up theirs, no reason to expect that to change. 
put your championship hopes in someone else's hands. Fantasy football stardom, sit-em candidates stock neutral Dion Lewis, RB, nay. Lewis is always dangerous and has seen a consistent workload since week 5 against the Buccaneers. What makes Lewis even more intriguing over the next two weeks is the fact that fellow running back Rex Burkhead suffered a knee injury and will likely miss the final two games. The Patriots will now get a visit from the Bills in Week 16, and they've been horrendous against the run since trading defensive tackle Marcel Darius to the Jaguars in October. The Bills have allowed the most rushing touchdowns and second most rushing yards of any team in the league this season. The only cause for concern with Lewis is that he plays for a Patriots team that doesn't always feature a single back however Lewis is likely the main recipient of carries in Week 16. C.J. Anderson, R.B., Den. The Broncos gave the ball to their starting running back 25-plus times for the second time this season, leading to his only two 100-yard games in 2017. Week 15 brought 30 carries for 158 yards against the Colts, 19 carries and 119 yards more than backup Devontae Booker. It's been very hard to trust Anderson and his workload in this offense, as he's carried the ball 10 times or fewer in six games this season. However, with 52 carries in the past two weeks it appears that the coaching staff is adamant about feeding Anderson to finish out the season. Week 16 brings a road matchup with the Redskins, who just gave up 4.1 yards per carry and 141 yards to a Cardinals team that is tied for last in the NFL and YPC.